So here we can look at the difference between simple interest and compound interest. So Angela invested £280. The interest rate every year was 5%. How much did the initial investment become after four years for either of the methods? So first of all, simple interest. Let's work out how much interest was received over the four years. So for that, we take the initial amount, times it by the actual interest rate, which is 5%, and times that by the number of years, which is 4. 5% 5 of £280, that would be £14, and then times that by 4, so that equals £56 total interest. And we need to add that interest to the initial amount, so that becomes £336. So now the compound interest, for the formula for that, we take the initial investment, which is £280, turn the 5% into a multiplier, and as it was growth, we need 1 plus 0.5, so times that by 1.05, and raise that to the power of the number of years, which is 4. So now put that in a calculator, we'll get £340.34. And that's what we would get with compound interest.